Do you find yourself in need of grab and go meals and snacks, but you're not sure where to begin? You have come to the right place. That was me years ago. My name is Tiffany and I help busy millennials create healthy meals and minutes without stress and overwhelm. I also offer complimentary beverage pairing recommendations with quick, easy recipes, and I am so excited you're here. In this video, we are going to talk about what a bento box is, and then we'll discuss how bento boxes can help you save time and energy in your own kitchen. And lastly, we will talk about a few different recipe ideas that you can start implementing right away with your own bento boxes. And that's not all. I also have a super simple strategy to help you create healthy meals in minutes without stress and overwhelm. So be sure to stick around until the end. Let's get started. Now you might be wondering, what is a bento box? Well, these boxes have been around for years. In fact, they first originated in the 1100s in Japanese culture as a way to create quick, easy, well-balanced meals for people. So with the Japanese culture, these were most commonly contained rice or noodles as the main starch, and then two options of protein, pickled veggies, and occasionally some fruit. Bento boxes has, have definitely been modernized over those years, especially as they entered into the American culture more recently. So you'll find bento boxes of various shapes and sizes with multiple compartments, some as one big structure, some divided into three or four different compartments. They even make bento boxes now with a sandwich divider to fit that American mainstream culture. But ultimately, a bento box is a single serving packed meal that's ready to enjoy when you are ready to eat it. So today they make take many forms, various colors, just like the one that you see here. You can also find them with characters and decals all over for simple personalization and customization to fit you, your preferences, your hobbies, interests, and your needs. Now, before we jump into how a bento box can save you time and energy in the kitchen, I want to hear from you. What would you put in your bento box first? Drop your ideas in the comments and I look forward to reading them. So bento boxes can help you simplify life while saving you time and energy in the kitchen because of the possibilities being endless. So let's take a look at this bento box here. We have got a nice wrap that's gonna hold them together, but we ultimately have two different compartments. So this top one here also has an extra compartment in the lid. So you can keep silverware, napkins, uh, nuts, dried fruit, anything that you're gonna wanna keep separate from other foods can go right in here. It also fits a small ice pack. So if you do have food in here to be refrigerated, kept chilled, if you're heading out to the park or the pool, an ice pack is gonna fit in here nicely as well. And then we have got the compartment inside. So we've got one big compartment in here. This is going to hold whatever foods you desire, which we will get into that, some ideas here in a moment. But this big compartment would be perfect for a full sandwich, some wraps, you could add in fruits, vegetables, hard boiled eggs, cheese sticks, the sky is the limit. Uh, going back to traditional ones, you could put your rice or noodles in half of it and your protein or maybe a vegetable stir fry in the other half and then it is ready for you to mix up when you're ready to enjoy it. And then the other compartment here has a nice divider. So this is another great option for your sandwich to have half of it in either side, but it doesn't have to only work for the sandwich. You could also put in your fruits or veggies on one side, add your dip in the other side, or make your own charcuterie board by adding meat and cheese in one side and crackers in the other, or you could do cheese and crackers in one side, some dried fruit and nuts in the other. The possibilities are endless, which is one of the greatest things about these bento boxes. So as you are doing your meal prep at the beginning of the week, 
for me that's typically on Sundays, you can be prepping your bento boxes so they are ready to go for your grab and go meals and snacks when you head out the door. So this is a great addition to your weekly meal plan. So as you find yourself with veggies fresh from the store, the garden, or the farmer's market, prep them right away and add them to your bento boxes so these are ready for those grab and go snacks. Some other great options to help you with meal prep would be mason jar salads, which is a favorite of mine. Uh, we also have cut and store containers so you can put the vegetables and fruit in there. The lid doubles as a cutting board so that way it is ready for you to prep and enjoy fresh. You don't have to worry about prepping it ahead of time and them drying out come the end of the week when you're ready to enjoy. Is you are batch cooking rice and pasta, you can then divide that rice into your bento boxes so it's ready to go. Then just add your protein, your veggies, and your bento boxes are set. So before we jump into some of those ideas, that you can start implementing right away with your bento boxes, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button because I'm dropping videos like this every week and I would hate for you to miss out on the next one. So let's look at some fun ideas that you can start implementing right away in your bento boxes. So a popular one is a stir fry bento box. So you can take your divided bento box and put your rice in one side and your stir fry meat and vegetables in the other side. But this one also works well with the full container that doesn't have the division. So then you're able to mix up the meat, veggies, and rice or noodles right away before you enjoy it. And then you could use this other container for some additional snacks. Fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. Uh, maybe you wanna add in some chopped peanuts or crunchy chow mein noodles or sesame sticks to go on top of the stir fry. The possibilities are endless when it comes to these. Another fun one is to make your own charcuterie board, which we had talked about earlier. So you can have your meat, cheese, crackers all divided up, add in some dried fruits and nuts, and you have got your own grown up Lunchable. Another fun option is to add in a couple of cookies or pieces of chocolate to satisfy your sweet tooth as a nice end to your adult Lunchable. A popular one for kids is going to be making a sandwich. So we've got the division in here already. You can have that sandwich cut in half with a half on either side and then grab the other container to add in fresh fruits, veggies, cheese sticks, a hard boiled egg, nuts, or maybe even a cookie or two to satisfy their sweet tooth as well. So ultimately you have got a well balanced meal between these two containers. Now for a gluten free option, hard boiled eggs are a great source of protein. So you could have your hard boiled eggs, fruits, veggies, and nuts all ready to go in here for a nice gluten free alternative. Another fun one is to take your wraps and add all of the toppings. So you could store your wraps, either tortilla wraps, garden spinach wraps, or lettuce leaves in here on your own, and then add in all of the fillers in this one. So you could have chicken salad on one side and then add in some grapes and walnuts on the other half to sprinkle as you make your own wraps fresh right away to enjoy. Also great for taco meat. So you could have the taco meat on one side, your shredded cheese and tomatoes and any other toppings that you want in the other half and you are ready to make your own tacos on the go. The possibilities of these are endless. It's just a matter of getting in touch with your creative side and having fun. Now I have got a super simple strategy to go along with this to help you create healthy meals in minutes. And the first step to do that is to implement theme days. Some of our favorites are Meatless Monday, Taco Tuesday, Thai Thursday, Stir Friday, and Slow Cooker Saturday. 
and it for additional recipes be sure to grab my free recipe guide in the description below so you can start saving time money and energy in the kitchen to save you from stress and overwhelm